artists the more whenever they have they, 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 they go through a situation not even necessarily an operation you know, when they have a situation, they will just run to their physician and be like, da, 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 da. I need to visit a therapist, I need to visit a that. And boom, before you know it, my therapist gave me some drugs. I need to take these drugs three times, two times a day. I'm not really against this, these drugs. I'm just against the fact that they have to be forced on somebody. You know, you could produce whatever you want to produce. But if I don't want it, don't force it on me. Don't put it in my food. Don't put it in my drinks, don't put it in whatever I'm, I'm, I'm buying. I know when I go to the market, I want to buy carrots, okay? Or when I want to buy something. I know what I want to buy. If I wanted carrots mixed with fentanyl, I would say I want fentanyl mixed carrots. I'm not going to say I want carrots. So why are y'all infusing all of this in our food? Why are you infusing all of this? <sighs> He investigated one particular company and i think it's the only ceo of a company that he's now in, in prison actually for what he was doing but yeah he was bribing essentially and he was charged with bribing he was bribing doctors and there was a quota and he was basically telling them if you prescribe more of our product which was fentanyl a uh, spray fentanyl called substance if you prescribe more we will give you more money and he, would do it, they were, he was paying them out and like taking them on trips, luxurious trips around the world and See? telling them not only to prescribe this medication to people who have headaches and back pain, mm. a medication that is made and FDA approved only for breakthrough cancer patients. But yet you go to the doctor and you say you have a headache and this guy knows that he can get a kickback from the... Yeah, one of the 48 laws of power says you used to be to entice the enemy. So I understand why they would take y'all through to all of those trips and stuffs and everything. Because they're trying to do the mind game on y'all. A company and so oh you should take this this drug how much of a kickback fentanyl. was it oh uh, it was significant it was in the thousands of dollars some doctors got hundreds of thousands of dollars mm. and so they were incentivized yeah there was a big incentive to do it yeah and they were also invited to these luxury vacations yes. to go to speaking fees what they said is that they were paying them for speaking fees which basically was good bribes yeah. i have a good friend who used to be a pharmaceutical representative and he explained to me how it works that he right come to think about it why would you Produce something that you know is helpful for people. Yeah, okay, it is your product. Let's if if it the, the thing is they, they don't come out there and make it and make it clear to people that it is a, it is a business, you know. Because if you do a business, we understand you will do everything possible to make that business successful. Of course, everybody wants their business successful and successful in and in, in 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 whatever way or you know. But then. It, 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 when it has to do with life and death, come on, do you even care? How would y'all promise doctors that if they give more of your products to people, they would get all of this extra benefit and stuff? Like, what if the people don't need it? Do you even think about it? America, y'all getting where? Damn! He would not just know the doctor, but he got to know, he knew who the doctor's kids' names were. He would show up at their baseball games and he would give them gifts. Me he too. would take them out to dinners and it was all about cultivating these relationships. And that it was all about like, I'm your friend and you, you know, like, and they wanted to have this sort of weird cronyism, weird sort of relationship where even if it wasn't illegal, like clearly he was influencing them to sell more pills. Yeah. It's so crazy. There is something I've noticed about the Western people, the Western uh, um, culture. I mean, in the West, in the, in the West region, I mean, it is so, 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 it is so, so common to see somebody manipulate someone for thousands of years because of something for, I mean, someone might want a pencil from you. He can start manipulating you on Monday when he needs a pencil on Friday. I noticed it. I'm not going to lie to y'all. I mean, I'm... I've been, I've not been so long here in the West, but I've, based on my experience, I've seen everything. I've seen everything that I'm, that I'm explaining to y'all. It's really crazy. The mind game, the, the manipulation of the mind in the West is so crazy. In Africa, we are more focused on naturally occurring things. We don't try to imagine th um, things that don't exist. Imagine things that are going to be, um, imagine you know, things we imagine. We, in Africa, we, we imagine things that are, I don't like. I don't like to say. I, like, I would like to say cultural base. But yeah, everyone. Everyone has a culture. But the way we see culture in Africa is culture is more of a primitive word, and then independence is or industrialization now is more of a. You know. Well, let me not waste your time. It's just weird. Americans are getting weird.
What is change in Florida? Because they, they did change and they made a database, right? Yeah, there's a database right now, which is the database. And the student will show the and the student will show the database. 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 And the student will show the database